Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And well, here we go once again guys with Lake Bed Temple. Last episode we got a little bit of a glimpse of this temple but today, today we're going to dive in a little bit deeper and see more of what this temple has to offer. Though this temple is less complex than the War Temple in Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, I hate the one Majora's Mask by the way. Um, this one is less complex than those two but I, I still hate it here. I do love killing these uh, shell guys though. I think it's just uh, pretty gruesome how you nearly cut their tongues in half. It, it's kind of one of the most brutal deaths in this game. Which is why I love it by the way. Because I'm sadistic that way when it comes to killing monsters. Alright, so let's just swim up to surface. We've already explored this room in the last episode by the way so... We're not going to waste too much time, alright? I can I know I can take care of these jellyfish later, by the way, once I get the claw shot. So, for now, we're just going to have to ignore them. I'm not going to borrow the two jellies. I got my bottles filled up, so... They really have nothing to offer to me, so let's just go, okay? Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, I remember this room very well. Check this out, yeah. Uh, see those things hanging on the ceiling? We can knock them down. Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you ought to knock down those tower safeties hanging off the ceiling first? They don't look to be very stable. I bet they break easily if you hit them with enough force, don't you think? Yeah, and do I have enough force? Yeah, I do. I have the bomb arrows, which I'm going to be using. Alright, so let's knock this one down. And then we can knock down this one. And then this one. And this one. Oh, I missed. Notice I'm better aiming with the bow than I was with the slingshot. I, I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all. Okay. Oh, yeah. These guys. These guys absolutely suck. You can tell them kind of in a link to the past. You have to get behind them and you have to hit them in the back. And that's the only way you can kill them. And until you get the claw shot, by the way, if you remove their helmet, uh, they're pretty easy to kill. Because that's the only form of protection they got. Alright, I, I can't climb this one. Why did I knock that one down again if I can't do much with it? Can I just knock it down for the sake of knocking it down? I think so. Alright, well, we can climb up this one, then. Hello? I hear you! I heard you charging at me. Eh. Uh, get your back away from the wall. Haha! <laughs> eh. Uh oh! Eh, haha! <laughs> you dare turn your back on a foe! That eh, was not very smart. Oh yeah, also their armors uh, you can pick up if you if you really want to. I don't know why you would want to. I mean, it has some use later, but right now I don't know why you would want to. Anyways, I want to go up here. I said I want to go up, Link. Stop resisting what I want you to do. Oh! Hello, 10 rupees. Let's open this chest. Oh, good bomb arrows. I mean, water bo water bombs, not bomb arrows. What the hell am I talking about? Water bombs. I could use those. And I know, by the way, that there's a ledge down there. I don't know how to get up there, though. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just go. Oh yes, this room. Hmm, looks kind of dangerous down below, doesn't it? We're going to be in this part of the dungeon a lot, by the way. Hey, guy! Finish him! <laughs> That's one of the coolest things to do in this game. Alright, let's go in here, and welcome to the main room of this dungeon, by the way. We're going to be in this room a lot. And by a lot, I, I really do mean a lot. Oopsie, I didn't mean to 
do that, by the way. I forgot I still had the bomb arrows on. Why am I having trouble picking up that heart? My god. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna take those off, by the way, before I waste any more bomb arrows. Um, Because uh, when you use bomb arrows... Oh. Yeah, I remember the gimmick of this room. You turn around the stairs to get to navigate around this room. This is the main part of the dungeon. You're going to be in this room a lot. So get used to it. Oh, a blue rupee. Nice. I hate how every like uh, different playthrough, like every time you launch this game, uh, it tells you how much the blue and the yellow rupees are worth. It's like in the past 24 hours or how long it's been since you last played this game. It's like they think you would forget how much uh, each rupee is worth. So they gotta... They feel like they gotta remind you. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Well, I can go in that room. I can't use that switch yet. I could later. Hey buddy, how you doing? Classic Zelda enemies. And looks like there's a treasure chest down here. Let's open it. Oh, arrows. Okay. Alright, well, let's just pull this and... This is the main idea. You pull the switches, the ladders rotate, and that's how you get around here. And this gets kind of busy, uh... Later on, once you start restoring some water. Let's, um, go down here. We already we saw a pot with Oko in. We want to find Oko. Hey, Oko! How'd you get down here, by the way? I can't imagine you being able to breathe underwater. Phew! Free at last! Gracious! You're that nice fellow who helped us out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. Okay. Alright, so there's really um, only two doors right now we can go in. On this floor, there's a... Uh... Oh, hi. Let me get out of here. Wait, did I not explore everything? Well, on this floor, there's either this door. And, you know what? I'm gonna go up. Or rather down. I am up already. And I believe down, there's uh, this door we can also go in. I don't think I've explored this area completely yet, so... No, I haven't. My god, I almost put up my new wallet that Agatha gave me. Yeah, there's a chest here, and I believe this is... I'm guessing it's the map. It'd be weird to give me a compass without the map. Yeah, it's the map. All right. Nice. So, do we want to go in this door down here, or the door up above? I'm going to go up above, okay? Oop. That was not a good idea. Don't roll up the stairs. You're just going to hit your head on something. I usually roll just to go fast. Oh, okay, well... Okay, never mind. I can't go this way. We have to go into the door down below. Good to know. Yeah, one of these guys again. Can I perform a back slice on you? I can! Oh, it's a one-hit kill! Okay, I'll do that more often. Good thing I have the back slice. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, there's an optional thing you can do in here to get a piece of heart. Uh, more of those things to shoot down. So, we're going to need our trusty bomb arrows again. Oh, that's right. I wouldn't be able to reach that from here. What's down here? Oh, is this a shortcut to get me down here? All right. Well, maybe I don't want to go that way, you know? Have you thought about that? Maybe that's something I don't want to do? Maybe I want to be daring, you know, and just uh, jump along these things. Wait, I don't think I can make that jump, can I? Nope, okay. Maybe I do want to go that way then. Ah, 
classic Zelda enemies. You gotta love them. Yeah, this bridge, um, you can get a piece of heart with it if uh, you bar to come back here with like the water flowing. You'll see what I mean once I start getting some water flowing. Because it's one of those things that's easier to show than to explain. But I can't get a piece of heart here if I really wanted to. Which I kind of don't. Like, I'm not... Uh, I was thinking maybe I can make that jump, but it turns out I am incapable. Alright, I'll take the... I'll take the other way, you know. Damn, I want to show off and look cool, you know. Like, making a leap of faith and actually making the jump, but no, I can't. Okay. I understand. I'll go down this way. I'm not cool enough to be a, a bit of a show off, you know, and do some cool, some cool things, you know. Yeah, that's just a uh, shimmy way to the side. There we go. And this is the jump we're gonna have to make. Once it starts going up, we jump. Yeah. Yay, we got small key! Now we gotta find a locked door. There's a locked door somewhere in the main room. Goodbye. I hear a sound of enemies, but I don't see any. Oh, there I do. Now I see you. Thought you could get away from me? Ha ha ha. You don't know who you're messing with. Learn your opponent before you pick a fight, okay? Yeah, that's all we came in that room for, by the way, was for a key. We need that room to start, uh, rotating. Or rather, the platforms to start rotating. By the way, if you look at the map, it doesn't really look like it's that big of a dungeon, right? But trust me, it is actually pretty big. Looks can be deceiving. Alright, we found out that door is no good. Because there's like a big water mill in the way. Ah! This is what we need a key for to go in here. Ah, uh, you again? Haha! <laughs> How'd that feel? Not good, I bet! All right. This room. This is one of the rooms with the water that I was talking about. Yeah, it's a water temple, so of course it did a gimmick with water, but it's not as annoying as the as Ocarina of Time's uh, water gimmick. And it's definitely not as bad as uh, Majora's Mask, uh, Great Bait Temple. Uh, do I still have the bomber arrows attached? Yes, I do. Alright, so I want to knock that down. And, uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I need to get over there. Is there another one I can knock down? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering, what do I do? What do I do with this? Like, I knocked this down. What, what good does this do? And, apparently, it does me no good. This is the one I want to knock down. That, that one was just to knock down for the sake of knocking down. Got shimmy over to the side. And oh, a lever! I know what that lever does. And I think it'd be a good idea to pull this. Yeah! Now we can just uh, casually walk through. Oops, I was a bit too close. <laughs> that was not smart of me, was it? Haha! <laughs> Oh, another one! Hey, guy! Oops. Ah, it's hard to navigate in this room. There you go. Let's go in here now. Oh, dear. Hi. Oh, yeah, this guy. He thinks he's smart hiding in a bubble. But all you gotta do is use a bomb arrow, blow it up, and then he's all exposed, and he can't do much except for hop around. 
All right, well, before I actually uh, do this room, there's actually one more room I actually want to visit. Oh, are the guys waiting for me? Or are they gone forever? Oh, okay. But yeah, I want to go in here. Uh, down below us, by the way, is the room we were just in, so try not to fall. And he fell off. <laughs> and now we're on the other side of that room. And this is kind of why I wanted to be down here. That chest, I believe, is a key. Yeah, it's gotta be a key, because it's not doing that. Yeah, small key. Hi, how you doing? Thank you for introducing yourself to my face. And to my surrender process. That was a uh, pretty pretty cool you. Oh hi! It was very nice of you to try and get a jump on me. I can't enter from this side though, so we got we gotta work our way around again. Is the lizard man back? No, he he's gone forever, okay. All right, well, now we can go back. I needed that key, though. So I'm glad I went back like that. Yeah, that's why I need the key. All right, this room. I think there's enemies down below. So I don't really want to fall down, do I? I almost filled up back at this new wallet she gave me. Wow. Alright, so yeah, I don't want to go down there. But I do want to climb up. So we shall do that. Oh my god, Link, just go up. How come every time I grab onto these vines, he likes to shimmy to the side? Like, I'm pushing straight up on the analog stick, so he should be going up. Alright, so this is like a spiral room. We just, we just go up. And this is like a two or three floors tall of a tower. And it's pretty much just going up, killing any enemy that gets in your way. And there's another tower exactly like this one. Thank you for the thank you for the heart. I almost said water, but like water that makes that makes no sense. God damn it, I'm in a water temple and now we got water on the mine. And we've reached the top, I believe. And that's the last of those uh, spider guys. There's a chest here. I think I will open it. I got buns! Ten of them to be exact. And there's a... There's a chest up there. I think I need to come back here to Quad Shot though to get it. Yep, I certainly do. I can tell because of the targets. And by the way, unleashing the wire like that is all you had to do in this room, and now you just uh, go back. Wee <laughs> Right in the water, run down. And this, a uh, drop down. This is where I want to go here. And we saw the switch in the middle, right? Well, we pull it! And now the water will flow through and it will go all the way to the main room. And we... Well, all we gotta do is follow the water.
And now these uh, watermelons will spin, which is pretty nice. I don't know where that bat went, but it's okay. Nothing to worry about. And oh, we can't go this way. All right. Fairy! I just want the fairy. I like fairies a lot more than uh than uh potions because uh potions you have to have equipped to uh well to do anything with them. Where fairies they activate automatically when uh they when you die. Alright, so yeah, we can't go this way. That two jelly got really huge by the way, that's what happens when they merge. And like I said, uh the purple chew jelly, do not drink it. You will hate it. Alright, so yeah, these are gonna start spinning now, so pretty nice. But I wanna go back to the main room. I don't wanna go down there just yet. I mean I could. I could go down there. I think I have everything it takes to get the quad shot. But I want to go to the main room first. Because there's stuff to do with this water that we have just released. You're back! Don't you ever learn. Alright, so the water flows now. And as we see with the water flowing, the water down below rises. Hey, bud! Oh, I can't pull that switch yet. Okay, never mind. I'm going back in here then. And I'm gonna jump below and I'm gonna go get the quad shot. Which the quad shot, by the way, is my favorite version of the hook shot in any, any Zelda game. Alright, so let's go back in here and we're just gonna jump down below. Ow, that hurt me. I know you tilt forward while falling down a pit. You can like roll and save yourself from damage. I, I got terrible timing though. We're getting uh, close to the mini boss. And if you thought that giant bug we killed was uh, was disgusting. Oh boy. Just wait till you get an eyeful of this guy. Alright! I believe there's a chest if we go down here. Yes, there is. I believe it's the compass. No, it's a key. Okay. Yep, it's a key. Alright. Oh, hi, two jellies. You guys really love this to uh, drop in on me, huh? Alright, let's go in here. <coughs> Oh boy, room of pitch blackness. Okay. Wait, what? I is this not the way I go in? Do I not go here yet? I, I don't think I go this way yet, guys. Hang on, I'm gonna look around that room one more time, okay? No, I guess I can't. I, I was pretty sure this was the mini boss room. I filled up the wallet, by the way. Alright, well, I guess we're leaving this room. I can't believe it, I came here for nothing. Oh wait, do I go in the R door? Because there's uh, two doors. Like, I think that's the way out of that room after we beat the boss. Or mini boss, I mean. Alright, I'll go back on this and I'll go in the R door.
Yeah, could be. Yeah, going this way. Right. But I had to go in that other way first to get the key. Ah, don't you guys ever learn? Ramming your faces into me does you no good. Alright, let's open up the store. We got the key. Man, I don't remember this place as well as I thought I did. Oh boy! Water time! Yay! Said nobody ever. Yeah, these currents will push you, so... Iron boots are a good idea, and water bombs. We need water bombs. Why do I always push that by the way to uh, go to the... To go to the menu? I don't understand. Like, to go to my item selection screen, I keep pushing the, the directional pad to open the map. Oh, I thought for a moment that I blew up the jellyfish. I really, I really love killing those shells, though. <laughs> it just seems pretty gruesome for a Zelda game. Alright, well, now is the time for the boss I warned you guys about. Are you ready for it? I, I, don't, I don't think you are. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, hi! What the hell are you? Alright. Oh, uh, I, I I told you, this thing's even uglier than that other guy we fought. Ugh. It's so slimy and disgusting. Ugh. Oh, okay, those are eggs. I thought they were eyeballs. <laughs> I'm going to kill your babies first. Oh, here it comes! Yeah, this thing looks like a giant, like a uh, giant frog. Like, especially when it comes down from up above, his shell looks like a frog. I love killing the babies. That sounds uh, kind of dark when I actually say it out loud like that. And this is really the mini boss. Ooh! Ow! Oh, it got me. It got me good. Oh, I missed my chance to hit it! When it's just a turn out like that, you can shoot it. I missed my chance, though. <laughs> Come on, do your turn thing again. What? That don't work? Oh, okay. I thought I could hit the tongue when it does that. I don't remember this game as well as I thought I did, apparently. I guess that that isn't obvious. Oh, here he goes! <laughs> there he goes! Um, seeing where that came from, like that chest, like seeing where it came out of, I don't know if I want to touch it really, but it's worth it. Hello, Quashot! The best version of the hookshot, if you ask me. Again, I did it again, alright. Uh, let's put this on Y. And the Quashot is used to latch on to things such as this and there are switches sometimes that uh, do stuff like this and now we can do stuff in uh well the art room 
And there's some switches that the holding on to with the quad shot ain't enough. You have to put on the iron boots to add more weight. But yeah, the quad shot is going to be a very, very handy item. Especially against these guys. Watch. Now they have no protection. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're getting this room. It's going to be a lot easier now that we can do this. Oh well, that was a weird thing. I, I believe there's something here. Yeah, I knew it. That's kind of why I jumped down here. Oh, it's just 20 rupees that I can't even take right now. Okay. Is there anything at the bottom? We're gonna dive all the way to the depths. I don't think there's anything down here, though. But it doesn't hurt to look around. Yeah, I think there's nothing here. Nothing at all. Alright. Going all the way back up then. Oh, there's monsters here. Okay. Alright, well, those fish are probably going to be annoying. I'm not going to worry about them, actually. I'm just a... Oh, where are you going, Link? Let's just get out of the water, okay? With the quad shot, we really have more freedom with uh, where we can go. I kind of don't want to position uh, it this way, though. I want the water flowing down here. So to do that, use the claw shot, rotate it, and this will make the water go down the stairs and flow through the door. And we already know on the other side this door was a water mill, but with the water flowing, it should be spinning. I was right. Thank you. Oh boy, this room. Now, unlike the art room with these things, there's nothing down below, so you don't want to fall. There's nothing but pitch darkness and this abyss down below, so don't fall, whatever you do. Hello? What's in here? Is it just rupees? No, it's water bombs. Better. Now, can I get back? Yes, I can. Okay. I was worried there was going to be no way back and I would have to kill myself just to get back to this uh, part of the room. Like I said, this is probably the least frustrating uh, water temple in the history of water temples. Um... I, I think I actually have to be over there. Because there's nothing else I can really latch on to. Alright. And also while you're hanging, you can push up and down to do that. Yeah, we go this way. Alright. Honestly, this place ain't that hard to figure out. Oh, way up there. My god, we are really going places today, aren't we? Up and down and all around. And then, latch over here. And we have solved the riddle. Oh, that was a pretty loud noise. Oh, hi. Can I put you out? 
I can! And it's bubble fades, okay. I don't know if I could do that, but I can. There we go. Climbing up. Nice little elevator I made, huh? <laughs> and let's go here, pull this, open that, so that it'll be easier if I ever have to come back, which I probably will. Is there another way I can claw shot up? Because if not, I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Nice little target right there, right for me. Thank you. And now we get to raise some more water. <laughs> yeah, these guys aren't really that bad, are they? Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, those have those uh, little guppy fish in. I know when climbing up, those little fish can get annoying. Now, this is like the other spiral, except for there's a twist. Yeah, I know, there's a, it's the same thing, but with a twist, right? Well, the twist is, you can kind of see it on the map already, there's uh, going to be some gaps that we're going to have to use our claw shot for. And avoid the getting hit by the water, because that'll just knock you down. Okay, you guys are just getting annoying, you know that? I hate those guys, they're just... They're just staring in the way now. Yeah, please be the last of them. What's this? Bums! Nice! Well, I'm gonna go up there this time, since I can. Since I have this. I'm gonna have to go to the R1, aren't I? What is in this chest? It's probably the compass. It is the compass! I wanna know what was in the chest in the R room. I'm gonna have to go there. I'm gonna have to go back to that R tower. Hit! More water has been restored! And now all we gotta do is find a boss key and we can beat the temple. Yeah, this was relatively short, wasn't it? I told you it wasn't that bad. There was this a uh, few parts where I was like, I don't know what I do. Water has returned. Aha, I didn't do it that time. I didn't open up the map by accident that time. I did it right. Alright, let's go down here. Yeah, jellyfish. Yeah. I pr I'm pretty sure this is just rupees, but I'm gonna open it anyways. Yep, just rupees. I can't carry them, so put them back. Alright, so yeah, jellyfish, by the way. um, They can be killed now. You wanna know how? You rip their brains out. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Yeah, these uh, platforms are rotating now. That's uh, pretty cool, I must say. Oh, hey, bud! Fist 
finish him! Bye bye! Into the endless abyss you go! That's probably just gonna be a. Uh, that's probably just gonna be uh, some rupees. Uh, oh, it's gonna be hard to latch onto that. I'm not going to burn, I'm pretty sure it's just rupees, like it's not really a special chest, right? And besides, we just need a boss key and then we're done. There we go! And now the water flow is completely up, so we can go to the boss room. We just need to we just need to find a boss key. And I already know where it is. We have to go back to that uh, room we were in, where with the first water flow, you know, down here. All right, so we go here. And yeah, the problem is uh, the water is going to slide us down, as you know. But we got iron boots. And now we got to slowly walk up the spiral. Oh yeah, this, this is going to be fun. Can I stand up here to make the process a bit faster? I can, okay. Still gonna take some time, but a bit less time. Ooh, no. Okay, yeah, we'll just uh, slowly go up. Okay. I'm gonna be so mad by the way if uh, what I'm doing here isn't for the boss key. <sighs> well, you guys don't need to see this because this is gonna take forever. So I'm gonna fast forward a bit, and I'll see you guys in a bit. One eternity later. Oh boy. You guys don't want to know how long this took me to get up here. I don't need to climb up there. I just need to do this. If this isn't the boss key, I'm going to be really, really upset. It doesn't look like the boss key uh, chest. Was all this for nothing? <laughs> 